D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can uh, read them for yourself, or you can just watch this video where I'm going to break them all down for you by reading it to you. Um, also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe and I thank you in advance. All right, so now that I got that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? And I find this one very, really interesting and um, a little bit not cool because uh, Tatiana Siegel uh, I think that's how you say her name, Siegel. Uh, she did what I think is is a little like a soft core uh, hit piece on Dwayne Johnson. And I just go, "What's your problem, lady?" But it's for this comes from Variety, not my favorite, but you know what are you gonna do? And she does give a lot of of scoops that some stuff we've heard before and some stuff we didn't. But I'm just like, lady, what's your problem? You know, like, like, get out of here. Now, she did put on Twitter. There is there was a Wonder Woman scoop in here that she said Wonder Woman would not be in the first three years of the DC of James Gunn's DCU. James Gunn on Twitter because he people were like, hey, can you please like debunk this or confirm it because this is crazy and he was like he was like wonder woman is definitely going to be and i'm paraphrasing because i don't have the tweet in front of me and i'm sorry i should have got it but he said wonder woman is definitely going to be a part of the the main story from the beginning and um and then they and then she changed this by the time of my recording she changed they took that part out so i just want to say that right now because it was in here and i was going to talk about it extensively um because i was like if that's true but then when he debunked it um cuz i just saved these stories throughout the week all right so now that's that let's read this and says secret meetings um tequila and black adam versus superman how dwayne johnson's bid for dc power flamed out that's dwayne johnson at comic con which I thought was a cool showing at Comic-Con, but apparently um, some people didn't like that and he got booed and stuff. Um, sorry, I was trying to find that thing, but I can't find it, that tweet. Um, okay, so um, I'm also turning off an alarm because it's about to go off. Okay, so from chaos comes order to paraphrase uh, Nietzsche. Is that how you say his name? Um, and then it says, and that is certainly a look at you, Tatiana, whatever, your seagull, getting all like friggin' philosophical and shit on us. Anyways, and that is certainly the hope in the new year when it comes to the DC Extended Universe, which endured the most uh, tumultuous 12 months of any studio division in 2022. Amid the upheaval, the release plan for the upcoming The Flash teetered following a series of arrests... <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I lost arrest and meltdowns involving the star Ezra Miller closely guarded Aquaman deal points were laid uh, bare in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard, a uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, defamation trial and the 78 million Batgirl. It was 90 uh, movie was permanently shelved in post-production as the as a write down. Uh, sorry, I'm not reading this very well. Give me two seconds. I'll get my ump back. Let me just take a sip of coffee so I get that I that extra oomph. I'm going to get pumped. Um, okay, so it says, um, sorry, I lost my say. All that was just an appetizer for an ex uh, excuse, oh, gosh, an executive shakeup that landed James Gunn and Peter Safran in the DC driver's seat. But perhaps nothing was as dramatic as Henry Cavill returning briefly as Superman in a Black Adam cameo in October, only to lose the gig two months later, which was I didn't like that. And I've, I've already said my thoughts on it. I'll leave links and everything, but I didn't like it. As 2023 kicks off, DC's bosses, James Gunn and Pierre Safran, continue to shift through the rubble and will soon reveal their three-year inter uh, interconnected version of the cinematic universe, which won't include Cavill, Superman, or Wonder Woman at all. Okay, so, uh, but when it says Wonder Woman at all, it that just, I think they, they mean like Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. I think that that's what that means. I think Wonder Woman will be involved. It just won't be Gal Gadot, which bums me out also. But things could have gone in an 
uh, um, an alternative direction. Behind the scenes, a different group made a play for control of DC. Not long after the Warner Brothers Discovery merger closed in April, Dwayne Johnson directly pitched CEO David Zasloff on a multi-year plan for the Black Adam. And in a civil led and a cavil led Superman in which the two properties would interweave, setting up a Superman vs. Black Adam showdown. Sources say Black Adam producers uh, uh, Hiram uh, Garcia, who is Johnson's former brother in law, and Bayou, Be- Bo Flynn also were part of the brain trust looking to take down, uh, take DC down a new path. Other sources confirm that meeting uh, d- uh, meeting, but downplayed any discussion of Black Adam's future. I've heard I've heard that too that they were going to do a a uh, Black Adam led Suicide Squad versus uh, the Justice League, and it was going to be kind of one of those like like that video that's game that's coming out where it's the Justice League or uh, the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Um, although the move took place amid a power vacuum created as a former DC head writer Hamada, uh, Walter Hamada. Uh, gosh, Warner Brothers film chief Toby Emmerich prepared to exit. It ruffled feathers internally, sources added. Dwayne went around everyone, which didn't sit well, says one. I mean, he went around Toby Emmerich, but so what? Toby Emmerich was already on the way out. And Walter Hamada, he was going to leave after, you know, Black Adam got released or whatnot. And who cares? Because those guys suck. Eventually, new Warner Brothers film co-heads Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi approved a Cavill cameo in Black Adam, despite the fact that Emmerich had made the call in 2018 to find another actor to don the red cape, which was a bad decision in my opinion. But Black Adam, which bowed which bowed October 21, fizzled with a $391 million worldwide haul against a $195 budget, plus $40 million in reshoots, uh, uh, scuttling any plans for more outings for the lightning bolt wielding's anti-hero and officially ended the Cavill Superman era. I'm not going to read any of the... Okay. Cavill parted ways with his manager, Johnson's ex-wife, Danny Garcia, uh, this year, but a source says it was unrelated to the DC drama and she remains a strategic uh, advisor to the actor, which I don't understand that unless she's getting paid. I would not help him unless I was going to get paid like that's just how it is i don't know about you but i do not give up my um my uh my talents for free meanwhile the johnson warner's relationship already was weary wearing thin after johnson pushed for a producing credit on the animated dc film dc league of uh league of super pets i don't see how that would uh, uh, artists do that all the time. People that are involved in the the movie. I mean, come on, like the, the, he got an executive uh, producing or he got a producing credit. So what? So what? Be, be, stars get that all the time. That is not that is nothing new. Which opened in July, but did little to promote it. The actor also insisted on a tequila bar at the New York premiere of Black Adam, featuring his uh, Termarana brand, despite the film being rated PG thirteen. That I do not care about. I'm sorry. That's uh, that's like a a nothing burger in this because first off, if if you're going to the movie, I don't know about you guys. But when I go to the movies, I have no problem having an alcoholic beverage. I, I don't care. Um, you know, I think the last movie I went and seen with my kids, uh, well, both my kids, but the last movie, I, I think it was Super Pets with my son. I can't remember off the top of my head, but with both my kids, it was a while ago because uh, I have anyways, but I, I had I had a beer. Um, I won't lie about that. It's it's fine. Anyway, people are just weird. Anyways. His demands increased and the returns just weren't there, notes another insider. I mean, that's true. The returns were not there. Still, box office analyst Paul, oh gosh, long ass name, says Johnson found himself in a catch-22 with Black Adam. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to get through this because a lot of this stuff, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so Shazam earned $366 million worldwide in 2019 off a $100 million budget. Um, yeah, because it's talking about that. Uh, okay. As for what else Gunn and Saffron have planned for DC's future, sources describe it as a broad but not blanket reset. It better be a a hard reboot, but let's just go. At this point, nothing is ruled out, given that Miller has stayed out of the trouble since uh, beginning mental health treatment in the summer. Some executives are... um, 
um, uh, amiable to continuing with the actor as the world saving speedster after the flash bows in June 16th. Aquaman, Shazam, Blue Beetle, and Gunn's Peacemaker series for HBO Max all could have a place at the table. Gunn and Saffron, who were recommended by DeLuca, have the full backing of the WBD top ranks. I have to just say, they have to do a full, re- uh, like a hard reboot. Get rid of everybody. Start new. Start fresh. This way you do not have to adhere to the past. You have a, a a fresh blank canvas. That's what they need to do for this new DCU. Um, James Gunn and Peter Safran. Okay. Um, and and Ezra Miller, I'm glad that he's getting help, but but I don't care. He needs to go. Sorry. Uh and in a in a uh, testament to the notion of the no Hollywood relationships in is ever truly uh served Batgirl directors uh Al uh, Adil L Arby and uh Bala Fala Bilal Fala oh, I don't know how to say their name sorry uh tell Variety that they are open to working with Warner Brothers down the road where fans of DC okay that's just their quote for it and it's a good thing that they're like even though their movie got canceled it wasn't James Gunn's decision so it's not his fault um but I do think first off I think that this article first off I think was very petty uh Tatiana Siegel is petty um second because she mentioned the tequila thing and that's like so ridiculous I'm pretty sure um stars and artists do that all the time with their stuff they just want to promote their stuff and i have no problem with it second i i think that i think that attacking Dwayne johnson like we all know there was dealings going on and he wanted to do the dc universe and he wanted to run it or why he wanted to to be the one that pulls the strings and guess what it just didn't happen my dude and i feel bad for him but at the same time i just go listen black adam i like black adam you can check out my review i liked it but I can see why it it's not going forward. I mean, I can totally see why. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I hope that I hope all this uh, this go go away. I hope all this uh, this um, I just t- want the DCU. I, I don't get me wrong. I there was plenty of stuff that I liked, lots of stuff I didn't like. But I hope that it just full reboot, full reboot. I've I've been that way. Tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you guys feel about this, this soft hit piece on Dwayne Johnson and his whole Black Adam thing, and and them and uh, and James Gunn saying no Wonder Woman will be involved in the first three years of the uh, DCU, um, or do you think that she it, it, when he says that that it will be Wonder Woman, just not Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman? You tell me what you guys think about this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I won't mind if you can mention, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.